Austin Ox, as you guys know, is too busy and like kind of fucking decided that he was going to uh, stop making videos and just cancel me instead. Like that was his content for him. That was the fun content that he was engaging in for a while. Last video he made was like six months ago. Austin Ox is back with not one, but two, two videos actually. Uh, one of which is uh, this, this uh, birthday video that he made, like he made last year as well. But uh, we're, we're about to find out what this year's is. This is Get Hassan on R Joe Rogan. I don't think it's going to happen, but hey, listen, you know, who knows? All right, let's watch this Austin Ox video. Before Dear Hassan, how are you? It's been a few months since I posted that tweet about you buying a $10,000 Hawaiian shirt from Gucci. Fucking ass. A lot of people got mad about that. Sorry. It was a lot of trouble over a shirt that really didn't even look that good. First of all, I disagree. I disagree. It is a good looking shirt. Why are people saying it's not that good looking of a shirt? I think it's a great looking shirt. And shirt from Gucci. A lot of people got mad about that. Sorry. It was a lot of trouble over a shirt that really didn't even look that good. Thank you, Hollywood Coat, for the five. Some people on there pointed out that that's not even Hawaiian culture. That it was appropriation. I know things have been tense since then, and our last message wasn't the best way to leave things. <laughs> I've thought a lot about ways to make it up. To Go you. away, die. I think I've finally <laughs> figured out how. We all know how much you love Joe Rogan. And many months ago, I said I'd get you on his show. Your dream. I said it a few more times. Well, now, here. I don't know Joe Rogan. But at the same time I was taking a break from Twitter, Someone else did too. So I reached out to see if he could help. And to my surprise, despite your history, he agreed. So I'll pass it off to him now. Wait, what? Good luck. What the fuck? Love, vegan, Austin Ox. And Joe, I hope if you see this, you'll take it seriously. But don't take it from me. What? Who took time off Twitter? What is he talking about? I have no idea what's about to happen. Joe, it's me, Jordan. Oh, God. So, I know that you don't have many liberal voices on your show anymore. Well, besides Kyle. But I wanted to pop in and say for the record, vouch, this Hassan Piker guy. I think if you have him on, it could be greatly beneficial. I think you might find that you agree on a lot more than you currently believe. So... He's not like other liberal propagandists, and I've taken some time to collect some footage that I think demonstrates the virtues you share, and the value having this sort of figure on your show can bring. And, well, I'm not the best with technology, but I hope this PowerPoint and my personal endorsement can convince you. Please enjoy. I think Joe and, jo uh, Joe and Jordan had a falling off. Dr. Jordan Peterson presents The Case for Hassan. Enjoy. Twitch's king of liberals. Congress should allow citizens to challenge members in physical combat. Gun rights advocate. If we don't arm teachers, how can they teach children not to shoot each other? What is this? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. What? Hassan has strong opinions on the events of September 2001 that two of you could have a cool discussion about. Cancel culture's greatest victim. I am the most persecuted person in America. It's like you can't make jokes anymore as a white man. He was really strong once, and being young is something you can reminisce about together. <laughs> Fuck you. Joe, I am not hyperbolizing when I say that on the internet in today's age, there's no greater defender of your ideas and ideals than Mr. Piker. Dude, you guys have not heard Joe Rogan, I feel like. Like, he's literally fucking pro-social safety nets, dude. He's he's a fan of Medicare for All. He's pro-social safety nets. Like, I think Joe Rogan is the type of dude who, if you were to talk to him and be like, hey, do you mind paying higher taxes if it wasn't going to fucking war, like endless wars and shit, and instead going to socialized medicine and free college, you'd be like, yeah, that sounds great. And a lot of people feel this way. So, you know, it's like he regularly does his best protect you from the scorn of the rising sea of gender fluid liberal minded sheep yet beg him to choke them i don't care suck my cock there you go i don't care i'm platforming him i love him i love him and i endorse everything he's saying 
all the time, including his anti-vaxxer shit, all of it, okay? I endorse wholeheartedly, okay? There you go. And Joe, you and I know how ridiculous cancel culture has become. And so does Hassan. You know, Twitter is trying to cancel him every week. It's like, it's bloody ridiculous. So this like you really... and me, he's been fighting to cancel, cancel culture. Doesn't matter if he's doing anti-vax shit, okay? Which he has been, and he will probably continue to do. This bullshit, I mean, it started off with like doctors coming out and saying, you need to fucking cancel Joe Rogan, you need to cancel Joe Rogan. I want to start off by stating this, first and foremost, and people are going to get mad at me for saying this. I don't want to cancel Joe Rogan. I don't. In the grand scheme of things, Joe Rogan's anti-vaxxer takes, like, that's not what Joe Rogan is supposed to be about, okay? And I, I still enjoy Joe Rogan. And I know better than anyone how women embody the symbolically female dragon of chaos. And this is why whenever a woman steps foot into Mr. Piker's home, oh, they are no. made to watch the Joe Rogan experience. It's like Hassan knows this is one of the few ways to fix them, if they can be fixed. And ultimately, like, I don't even want Joe Rogan to be fucking canceled. I love watching Joe Rogan. He's a dumbass. I love watching Joe Rogan. I love showing Joe Rogan to women that come over to my house. You know what I mean? I love sitting in front of the camera and like forcing them to watch Joe Rogan with me. This is me. so embarrassing! It's a big part of my daily life. Austin Ox, I didn't, I, you said you weren't gonna fucking cancel me. People are gonna watch this video and think I'm like a Joe Rogan apologist. Oh my God, I'm gonna get canceled again. Austin Ox be like, Austin Ox be like, yeah, I, uh, I actually was spending the last six months not making YouTube videos specifically so I could make one that literally gets you fucking canceled on your birthday. Big part of my existence. What will I do without Joe Rogan, you know? One of Piker's strongest and most well-considered policy positions is that of a mandated congressional cage-fighting clause. And, well, this heavily favors traditional masculinity. And I would like nothing more than to see the fruitful discussion a fusion of your minds can bring about on the topic. I have an idea called the gauntlet, where the gauntlet. there's an automatic trigger. If you reach an approval rating that is like below 30% as a politician, whether in the Senate or the House of Representatives, have one champion from your state come and fight you in hand-to-hand -hand combat on the floor of the Senate or the floor of the, uh, the House of Representatives. A little bit of proletarian violence in that respect, right, I think, right, would right. really force politicians to truly recognize that uh, their constituents' interests are more important than the corporate benefactors that line up their pockets. Imagine Ilhan Omar just fucking grabbing her fucking hair, just bah, bah, bah. Just a couple, just a couple big ones, dude. You know what I mean? So Ilhan Omar's coming, she just goes bah. Catch these fucking hands, dude. Trial by combat, throw the fucking gauntlet. That'd be sick to watch. I would watch that. Why do you promote violence like that? I think it'd be fucking sick to watch if congresspersons were able to fucking beat each other up. It would be fucking sick. He's even attended every CPAC conference since 2019. <laughs> and his excitement is contagious as he promotes the experience to his loyal horde of bisexual Antifa. It was it, it just awesome. You can be a fucking fascist, racist. Uh, you can literally, like, the, the plot lines are insane. You can be a fucking racist, fascist. You can be a nationalist, okay? You can be a racist, nationalist, uh, ultra fascist. Noticing that, like, noticing that I, uh, noticing what I look like while saying that, taking the hat off. Oh, this was after I got banned for the word, for the C word. And then I came back and I was like, I've learned my lesson. Dude, I do too much irony, man. And I'm talking about Disco Elysium right now, because that's all I did when I was banned. It was like, all I did was like play Disco Elysium. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but, but like, the hat I was wearing because uh, it was right after the ban, and I was like, I've learned my lesson, Twitch. Like, you know, white people need to be protected, all this stuff. You know what I mean? You can be a racist nationalist. I take that hat off because I'm like, this doesn't look too good. Uh, ultra fascist. You can be a fucking moralist, neoliberal, uh, middle of the ground. Like, uh, I only want to make sure that everything, like, is, I'm defending the status quo. You can be a fucking... It's just awesome. It, it's so sick. It, it's so fucking dope. In addition, Mr. Piker loves the Second Amendment. He loves to shoot. He's been a lifelong proponent of arming young men and women. Mr. NRA, you have a better solution on the table? Arm America's women. I mean, that's literally what, yep. Like it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. And it's been working. And that ties perfectly into the Kyle Rittenhouse case, okay? And I hope what? you know I would not say these things if I did not wholeheartedly believe 
open the possibility of a blossoming Austin friendship Ox, between the two on. of you. Joe and I have the same problem with our mic stand, by the way. We have the same mic stand and the same mic. As the premium Joe Rogan archivist historian, I'll tell you that he has like a very weird chair where he kind of stands on it. I'm still, of course, never going to be as good as Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan is like actually good. Joe Rogan would beat my fucking ass. Like, of course he would. If Trump wasn't around, you look at Ron DeSantis, you go, that's the guy. Yeah. He's yeah. strong. Yeah. Or Pence. He's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. They're right. They're literally right. They're right. Stop. I'm not that. Come on, dude. You can't. God damn it, bro. He put like fucking clips of me being sarcastic. And then he put clips that don't fit with one another unironically. And it made it. Oh, Jesus, dude. He's actually going to get me fucking canceled. What about this? They're 100% right. They're so right. I didn't even say that about Joe in that one. They're so fucking right. He's just like, clipping. You, He's there clip are chipping. human uses for ivermectin, which has been around for a very long time. Telling me the number one Joe Rogan fan of many fucking years, a person who has literally sat down and talked to him for hours in the past. Dude, how can you not love Joe Rogan, dude? How can you not love this ape, dude? This is the reason why I think Joe Rogan is an interesting person. Dude, Rogan himself admits he's fucking stupid, okay? It's part of Rogan's appeal is that he's stupid. Same part of my appeal as well. I'm stupid. This is the point where I tell you why this person was profoundly influential in my life. Something that I don't know if I've ever revealed to any of you before. When I was a young lad, a young boy coming into Los Angeles, I was a gigantic, ginormous fan of Joe Rogan. The reason why I loved him, it, it was not that he had so much money, it's that he didn't care. He, he went off the beaten path and did what he wanted to do, which was have a podcast. I want to have my friends over, have conversations with them. And, you know, people will watch me because it's fun and it's entertaining. And I love that. That's something that I always wanted to do. I, I tailored my career trajectory with that kind of influence. Hoping one This part is true, though. I mean, I've talked about that. That is unironically true. Like, it's so funny because, like, I have also bouldered him so aggressively uh throughout the years like so aggressively and like half that stuff is like either clipped out of context or half that stuff is obviously sarcastic but um that part is 100 percent true like that was something that i i uh thought was like incredibly important it, it was it was impactful in my life one day that that i could that i could also have a, a community that i've cultivated people would come and, and listen to and and watch so that's why joe rogan was profoundly impactful for me And if all else fails, both of you can put aside politics and simply exchange chimp noises for two hours or so. <laughs> Hello, freak bitches. <laughs> I really appreciate you coming down here and sharing your perspective. Dude, Joe does not like this guy. Joe does not like this guy. I can tell. God damn it, dude. How dare you? Oh, this is Mason Hunter, the amazing Jordan Peterson uh, voice actor. Hi. Fucking guy, bro. Th th this guy has... He can't stop himself, dude. He can't. You're getting canceled? I'm 100% getting canceled again. 